including symbols with dimension text. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go dim linear, and I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to pick on this line. And you can see that it's a 1.500 dimension. But I would like to put the diameter symbol, the Greek letter phi, in front of it. And the ASME standard is to put that in front of our diameters. So the best way to do that is to come down on the command line, click on M text. When I click on the M text, I get my M text ribbon editor up here across the top. You can see I get the value of the measured value here. I like to grab this ruler and pull the width across so I can see it better. Right? And then I'm going to come up in front of the value. I want to place the phi or the diameter symbol. So I'm going to go up here into the insert and then click on the symbols and I'm going to come down and I'm going to find things like the diameter symbol. And I place the diameter symbol in. It's placed in front of the value. I'm going to close the text editor and then I'll come out and I'll place it. And then that's how we end up uh, putting in our symbols. Now, let's go take a look at that again. I'm going to go and do the linear. I'm going to hit enter to select that object again. I'm going to come down and pick on M text. And I might pull this apart to see a little better. But I want to come up to the symbols and hit down on the symbols. Maybe I wanted to put in like an R for a radius. You see there's not all the symbols here I need. If I go to other, you're going to find that there's a tremendous amount of symbols. And here, I, I came up to the GDT, so that's where geometric dimension tolerancing symbols, you use the GDT font, and you can pick any one of those symbols, you know, such as a counterbore symbol, etc. And, uh, right, so they're, they're like a counterbore. But if you just go to almost any particular, uh, I'll go to Arial, there's all kinds of symbols. And we can go with our copyright symbol, and etc. And so you can usually go through here and find all kinds of symbols. You'll particularly find things like in math. When you go into the M's into math, you'll find math. You'll find weather, etc. So basically, each uh, particular font has many different symbols to pick from. Uh, all you have to do um, is to actually oops sorry uh, I'll go down and do that again all you have to do is pick one right and so maybe I'm gonna come up here and I'll select it and then I'll copy it and then I'll come out in front right click and paste so it's a little different procedure in the and I can a little different procedure is I got to select it copy it and then paste and then I can say close the text editor and I can come out here and place that symbol in there. So I'll get rid of this since it's not correct. So we can insert symbols with dimension text by using uh, either dim command or the dim linear and we need to go to the M text. Once we go to the M text then we want to go up to symbols and then we can place our symbols in. So including symbols with dimension text.